Uh, first thing I want, is everybody saw the movie Phenomenon with uh, John Travolta, isn't that his name? Uh, and this came to me this morning, see, because I, I, I thought that this started three weeks ago, but it actually started way before then, because one day I was up here, and God gave me a message for all y'all about how, do you remember when John Travolta, he, built, he was all smart, and he got all this wisdom, and he built a fence around his garden, but every day he'd come out there, and there was something eating his vegetables. And he couldn't figure out, with all, he could design all these other things and figure all these other things out, but he couldn't figure out why the rabbit was still eating it, because he had fenced the rabbit in, is what happened. And God told me that about three months ago, and I was like, oh, that's a great word for everybody else, see, but I never thought that was for me, because, see, I go to another program and this program, I go to NA, and what we, in there, we, see, in the world, we call our problems, our people's issues, their personality. See, and then we go in the N.A. and they call it character defects. And then we come to church and we call it sin. Well, I had been suffering. Now, Shauna knows this. She can testify to this. I had been suffering. My feet were killing me. My back was killing me. Shauna lived with me. I'd have her massage my feet till she wouldn't even come around me no more because she was like, he's going to ask me to massage your feet. So I'm going through all these pains, and, and I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking, well, it's because I'm getting older. Then I'm thinking that somebody tells me it's because of my shoes. You know, I need to switch shoes. So now i got three pair of Nike shocks, and they all hurt my feet at this time. <laughs> so I'm wearing, uh, I'm thinking it's my, my, waist, uh, my tool bag, so I'm wearing suspenders now, which my wife hates because I look like an old man now. <laughs> so I'm going through all these things, and finally I just chalk it up to old age. I'm like, well, I'm just getting old. Well, I go through some issues, you know, and pain is what brings about the change, you know. And I go through some issues with some family and some friends that really caused me, and I'm, one thing, whenever you hear me say I, I want you to replace that with he, because it was him that did all this. Um, it made me realize that I, ha I probably still had some work to do. See, because I suffer from pride. Pride always tells me who I am and who I think I need to be, you know. And, uh, the, and that's why I missed that message that was for me, because pride tells me that I'm already arrived all the time. I'm as far as I need to go, I'm good. And see, what really happened was I wasn't arrived. And uh, one day I was sitting out here, and, and this lady asked me to pick, uh, get a book called, uh, that I was asking for some advice. She told me to get a book called Drop the Rock. So I'm like, okay, well, she's just being smart and telling me I need to, you know, change. Well, it turns out there is a book called Drop the Rock. So I'm reading this book, and what it does is it goes through and it shows you the correlation between the seven deadly sins and all our character defects. As a matter of fact, it shows, and it explained to me all these defects, how they are actually sins. And I'm like, okay, so I'm sitting out here in the parking lot one day, and Pastor Kyle pulls up, and I hate to say this word because I'm too manly, but I was weeping because I had... Yeah, I was crying. <laughs> so I'm sitting out there, and I'm weeping, and uh, the, what, what caused it was I knew I had this defect of character that I, nobody had called me out on, and uh, what it was, yeah, yeah, you did, and, and what, it, what it was is I'm still seeking my father's approval, okay? So what that causes me to do is be right all the time. I want you to like me because of what I have, what I can offer you, not because of who I am. And really, God wants us to seek his approval, so I've learned all that now. But what happened was Kyle asked me, are you okay? And I was like, uh, well, I'm having a moment because I'm sitting there weeping. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and then I'm like, and I was like, uh, I'm having a moment. He's like, a good one or a bad one? Well, I, my answer was good for you, bad for me, see, because he... Because all y'all get to benefit from me changing my character defects, see, but I have to face the reality, you know. <laughs> so it was a good, bad situation. So I come in here to Dan's uh, morning study, as we usually do, and I sit through it, and uh, I'm really thinking this is no big deal at all. And then all of a sudden, when it comes to prayer time, and when I stood up, I was sitting right there, all of a sudden, my leg felt cool. And I was like, next thing you know... I am completely healed of all cricks in my neck, shoulder pain, foot pain. I know, it's crazy. Crazy. And nobody touched me. Nobody, nobody did anything. Nobody touched him, and, and, and I didn't say anything about healing. Yeah. It was, there's power in prayer. If people knew that, we would have all of you guys, I'm just messing with you, not but seriously, though, in the prayer meeting, right? Now, they to go on mercy. further, what happens is, what, the way I described it when I was telling him is I literally felt like I had set down a 100-pound bag of concrete. You hearing this? See? How and many people are carrying weights and don't even know it? 
Because he yeah. thought it was a physical condition only. That's what the thing yeah, about I it. I never put the two together. So, so um, anyhow, I'm reading. Now you messed me up. I lost my train of thought. All right, anyhow, I'm, I'm, I'm reading. I, I feel like I've put this weight down, which dress, the, the book's called Drop the Rock, you know. So, uh, it matches with Jesus, when Jesus said, come to me because my burden, my yoke is easy and my burden is light, you know. And it's when we put them on. So, now I'm walking around. I don't carry that anymore. But, uh. Now, yeah. so anyhow, if I would have read two pages further in the book that morning, as soon as I got home, I read and it says, many of our character defects bring on physical ailments. And I was like, wow. And you see what, what, what happened? You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy of my praise. You are 